Many women have fled the, the combat in eastern Ukraine, taking their children to safety, while others have decided to stay and take up arms, as RT's Maria Fanoshina now reports. Katerina is 21 years old. She's a trained medic with a passion for nature and painting. And she can assemble a Kalashnikov in seconds. She says she's a good shot, too. Have you ever had to kill anyone? Yes, I have. It wasn't self-defense. It was them who approached, not us. Katerina belongs to Eastern Ukraine's self-defense forces. She started on the front line as a nurse, but soon took up arms. But the problem is that she sees the people she's fighting against as mere pawns in a bigger game. Those who are responsible, they send young boys to kill us and die for them. They hide behind them. Most of them are young conscripts. They have no choice and they come to kill us. At a self-defense checkpoint outside Lugansk, Katerina meets Olesya. She's in charge here. A few days ago, I went to the hairdresser and I saw a woman there, a client. She was looking at me with her eyes wide open. It turned out I had forgotten to take my pistol off. It happens. She sees no contradiction in her current status. This is what happens during wartime. They don't even ask. They just come to your land. I was just an ordinary woman. I even cook quite well. Katerina and Alessia are far from the only two. In this video, women from Ukraine's east and south have a strongly worded message for female fighters on the other side. A special hello to the 39th Maidan Women's Battalion. Girls, you either stop doing this or you'll cease to exist. If you continue to seek information about our men, your men will die. The paramilitary battalion they are addressing fights for the new government and for national unity. And it's still growing. Today the Maidan has reached far beyond Kyiv's center. It has embraced the whole country and we must protect its borders. Women from the 39th Company have set off for Donetsk, Kharkov and Lugansk and they need your help. The head of this battalion is also an assistant to Ukraine's new defense minister. Do not fear reprisals. We're working for the common good. Each of us needs to preserve their own dignity. I realized I would be seen as an anti-separatist fighter rather than a woman. This means they would kill me if the opportunity presented itself. So I had to hold my firearm close. Women are also waging a battle for hearts and minds. This Ukrainian band considers itself patriotic, but some see its lyrics as ultra-nationalist. <laughs> But the real conflict has been fought here. And with growing numbers joining both sides every day, some fear it's passing the point of no return. Marie Fnoshnati in eastern Ukraine.